Uh, uh, Aaron. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and I'm a thriller and horror author from the south of England. On this channel I make videos about reading, writing, marketing and research. If that sounds like something that's your cup of tea, please do subscribe. Recently I have fallen down a little bit of a booktube rabbit hole. Um, second lockdown has definitely given us more time to watch YouTube so I've been watching lots of slightly smaller booktube accounts um, that are kind of up and coming which is really nice to see and one of them is someone called Maddie from Book Browsing Blogs, that's her channel, um, and she basically is like a booktuber so most of her videos are reading vlogs reviews that kind of thing a couple of weeks ago maddie did a video on her channel which is called the do i have that other book tag that makes me think there's also a do i have that book tag but i couldn't be bothered to sift through her channel to find it so today i'm going to try my hand at the do i have that other book tag um this tag was initially created by keeping tabs and current chapter so i'll link their videos down below as well as obviously book browsing blogs channel um definitely check all of them out they're all really nice channels to watch and they're all quite small and like on the up so it's really nice to support them. So there are 20 questions to this tag. Essentially they are prompts, um, you have to use those prompts to find books on your bookshelves that match the prompts. Um, you can't use any books more than once and you have to do it as quickly as possible. Um, I also have my other half behind the camera, is he going to say hello? Hello! Yay! Um, so Dan is going to film me rushing around my shelves trying to find these books. So there are 20 questions and we are going to start three, two, one. So question one, do you have a book with a fox on the cover or as part of the plot? Yes, I do. It is this one. Um, this is the Thursday Murder Club, which I know absolutely nothing about. I have borrowed this from a friend and there is a fox on the cover. Uh, number two, do you have a book that was published the year you were born? I have a theory about this one because I'm not entirely sure, but I think that Brett Easton Ellis's American Psycho might be. If not on the year I was born, I think we were allowed it within three years. So we'll see. And that's over here. Brett Easton Ellis. American Psycho. Place your bets. Haha! <laughs> 1991! Yeah! Number three, do you have a book with music as a weapon or magic? Mm. Don't know how technically if this counts or not, but I think this is the closest I'm gonna get. So I have uh, this book, um, this is Back to Reality by Mark Slayer and Mark Oliver, and there is time travelling and magic that happens because of music? I think I'm grasping at straws, but I'm taking it. That's my answer. <laughs> Uh, the next one, number four, do you have a series with mismatched covers? I'm not really big in reading series so this one's quite hard, um, but thankfully Dan has a series that is mismatched somewhere. Where's it gone? It's, Where's Neuromancer? I can see it. No! <laughs> ah! Uh, so, Neuromancer by William Gibson, which I still haven't read. Um, we have this random one and then three entirely different ones over there. Number five, do you have a book with a shapeshifter? <sighs> oh no, I did think about this one. So I do have an option, but because you can only use books once, the option I have is an answer for another one, so I can't use it. So what I'm going to use is over here, and I'm going to argue <laughs> that Attack on Titan has shapeshifters, sort of, because no spoilers. Aaron. I'm now concerned that absolutely no one will get that reference. But I did it! Number six, do you have a book signed by the author? Yes, I have a few. Um, I'm going to go for the first one I find, which is this one. I still haven't read it. It is A Cosmology of Monsters by Sean Hamill. Uh, number seven, do you have a book with mostly red on the cover? I do, I think I've already used it. Uh, I feel like quite a few of these are red. I should be okay. Are you mostly red or kind of mostly white? Mostly? No. Mm. I thought this would be easier. Oh, ha! Cool. Save the Cat writes a novel. Mostly read. I'm arguing that is mostly read. Number eight. Do you have a book that has between 287 and 306 pages? <gasps> yeah, no, too short. Ah. Oh, this one feels too big. Oh! 
285. And you've already used it. I didn't use it, I used Neuromancer. It's fine. No, pull part me up of the on series. The wall. No, it's a different book. Shut up. You're going to make me find another one. really like the other one I've read of his so we'll see if I ever get around to it. Next question number nine do you have a book with the main character wearing glasses? I feel like this might be a no. I, have, I mean I've read Harry Potter I don't have it. Uh, the main character in this book only has one eye is that close enough? <laughs> Help me out any books with glasses in them? Doesn't one of the kids in it? That's not a main character. Wear glasses. Well, it's one of them, isn't it? We're we going to argue that one of the children in it wears <laughs> glasses. I don't want to pull that out of the bookshelf. <laughs> I'll never get it back in again. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. We're arguing that one of the kids in it has glasses. Can't verify that. If that's not true, though, I have read Harry Potter, so that's my backup. Uh, number 10, do you have a book with a title that has the same number of letters as your first name? It's just over here. Stephen King, Misery, also one of my favourite novels. Uh, number 11, do you have a book with cybercrime or technology as a plot point? How many times can we use Neuromancer? <laughs> oh, I have something else. <laughs> cybercrime, technology. Ah! <sighs> Uh, I mean, I've read a fair amount of sci-fi, so... I have Ringworld, if you want to... I've already penned that for a different one. <laughs> technology, technology, technology. I mean... I can't remember which one it is, but one of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo books, there's a big bit in that about cybercrime. I can't remember which one it is, so I'm going to argue that one. I can't actually remember if it is this one. It's one of them from this series, where the rest of the books are elsewhere. Number 12. Do you have a book written in another language or translated to English? Many, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. I haven't spoken about this book on this channel. This is Death and the Penguin by Andrei Kirkov. I think it was originally in, I want to say Russian. Number 13, do you have a book written by an Asian author? <laughs> Allow me to show you. Yep. Uh, and also, if you want a traditional novel, we can go for Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Which is really good fun, and I haven't read the second one yet, and I want to. Number 14, do you have a book with a moon on the cover? So yes, I do. I have one over here. Um, but because I've obviously seen this video for other people have done it before, I know what one of the other questions is, so I don't want to use it. So I do have James Herbert's moon, which obviously has a moon on the cover, because it's called moon. But I'm not going to use it. Does someone have a moon on the cover? No. Uh, so... What do I find? Something else. Ah, so this one has a moon. Yay! This counts, and it's on the spine as well. And um, this is Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. I never actually finished this, but it makes me look intelligent, so I kept it. Number fifteen. Do you have an illustrated children's book? Yes. I won't hear that the manga is children's books. I made that joke already. It wasn't funny the first time. Um. Where are they? Louis, have a choice of two, because I can't choose between these, these are both adorable. So we have The Nightmare Before Christmas and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Do you have a collection of fairy tales or myths? Yes. I was worried I'd lent this to my dad, but clearly I got it back. Uh, this is Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Number 18, do you have a sci-fi fantasy with an alliance between races? Yes, the one you wanted to use earlier. Uh, is Ringworld by Larry Niven. Um, I do also have Lord of the Rings, but they're like stuck down there, so this one it is. Ooh. 
So this is the weird one. This is the one that I've, I've seen in everyone else's videos and I don't, I didn't think I understood it initially when I saw their videos, even after they explained what it meant. So this is number 19. Do you have a book with a narrow front cover? So where the paperback with the front cover is slightly trimmed smaller than the rest of the book? I didn't really understand that until I realised that Moon has that. So that, where it's cut out which is why I could not use this one for the moon. Uh, next question, do you have a book that includes the first chapter of the sequel? So here's the thing, I don't really read series, so no. So I think the only way I can answer this one is to slightly cheat, uh, and that is by using uh, something by CJ Tudor, I think. Oh, actually, or, ah, found one, and it's a series. Um, so this is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, um, which I never actually finished the series. I think I own all of them, but I only read two. And at the back of the first one is a little bit of the next one. So that's that one. And the last question is, do you have a book with a broken spine? Yes, I do. Um, but it's pretty big. This is the Illustrated Works of Lewis Carroll. Um, and it was a gift from my grandparents when I was very small and it is very busted so it doesn't come out very often. Uh, and that is that, that is the 20 questions. There is a bonus question. Um, do you have a book that covers three or more of the above prompts? Uh, honestly, maybe, too lazy to work it out. So that was the do I have that other book tag created by Keeping Tabs and Current Chapter. Again, their channels are both linked down below as is Book Browsing Blog, um, who I have been absolutely binging for the last couple of weeks. So yeah, come join me over there. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week with another one. Bye! This is definitely not where this goes. <laughs> I don't care! You can stop calling now. Video proof of you actually tidying up. <laughs> That's incredibly rude. <laughs> that is so rude.